In this video, we're gonna check out trolley.ai. I use this to create bulk AI generated content. And the reason I do that is if we scroll down here, it has two tiers. You get unlimited articles per month on the second tier, which is the tier that I'm on. And I'll show you what that means in just a second. And you also get five users and 60 long form pro articles a month. I haven't really used the long form pro articles because the, the regular form, the, the, they have a short, medium and pro they generate really long articles. I haven't even needed the long pro form. But if you want to check this out, there's a link in the description down below. It is an affiliate link. If you buy through that, it does not make it more expensive for you, but AppSumo will share some of the commission with me and that helps me keep making these videos for free. So if we hop into trolley.ai, the reason I like trolley is it's easy. It's convenient. It uses ChatGPT 3.5 and 4, it says it right here. So they're pretty open about what they're using, but everybody's using the same thing really but it's the convenience you're paying for. So if I go into the wizard, all we have to do is enter a topic, like how to boil an egg. We enter some keywords. You don't have to enter any, but you can enter up to five if you want. You choose a language. There's a few to choose from. This is a list right here. And then we choose a template. Short form costs one credit. So if you are on the one tier plan, you get 30 articles a month. That essentially means 30 credits. So one of those 30 credits generates an article of 1,500 to 2,000 words. Long form is two credits, 2,000 to 3,000 words, which is pretty long for a lot of different sites. So I don't even use the long form. And the long form costs two credits as well, and that is 5,000 to 7,000 words. That's a really in-depth article. Whether ChatGPT can handle that kind of thing and make it good, I don't know, because I haven't tried it. But the long form pro is separate from the credits. So we have the 30 here, which is for the, the, the first two, the short and the long. And the long form pro is this 15 here. Or on the flip side, we have unlimited for the short form and the long form, and then 16 for the long, or 60 for the long form pro if you do the second tier. I'm gonna use long form. I'm gonna click generate title. It's gonna generate a title based on what we entered there. I'm just gonna pick any one of these. Currently you can't edit them, but you can regenerate them if you don't like what any of these options here. Click on generate outline once you pick the title. Currently we also can't edit the outline. You have to select it here, click on generate article. If you don't like the outline, click on regenerate outline and you'll get a new one, but you can't change it, not currently anyway. Click on generate article and now it's gonna create the article for us. I'll just pause this video until the article's done. It usually takes a minute or two, doesn't take long. So that took about three minutes and this is what we get. Title that we weren't able to edit before, we still can't edit it, but we can copy it into Neuron Writer or copy it into a website and change it there if you want. Meta description provided for you. Sometimes I found this is blank. It doesn't always provide a meta description. So many words this is. 74 words. And we have our content here based on the outline. As you can tell, it's quite a lot. And this was the long form, not the long form pro. And there's a lot of content here. Let's go down to the very bottom. Usually ends at the conclusion at the end. There's a conclusion. How many words is that? 4,782 words. Remember, the long form content is supposed to put out, I think it was 1,500 to 2,000, or was it two to 3,000? Let's see. Long form, 2,000 to 3,000, instead of put out 4,700, plus a summary, which I guess is like, whoops, kind of like another uh, meta description. If that happens to you, what just happened to me, where it disappears, go to my documents and you'll find all your documents listed here. This is the, the egg. And we're just checking out the summary at the bottom. This is kind of like a meta description. I'm not sure why they added, to be honest, but there it is. 99 words for that one. And now what I would do is copy and paste this into an app like Neuron Writer and edit it there. Part of Trolley's selling point is they create SEO content. It's right in the title. Uh, maybe not the title here, but look at the title of the page. Trolley, automate SEO content writing with AI. So we're gonna take this post, which was made for the keyword, how to boil an egg. We're gonna see how optimized it is for that term using Neuron Writer. First thing I'll do in Neuron Writer is click new query inside of a project. Call this how to boil an egg. Skip the advanced settings, don't need those. For this case, click on start. Click on how to boil an egg. Once this analysis is done, which usually takes one or two minutes, we'll be able to pick our competitors from the top search results for that keyword. Here are the top competitors. You wanna make sure that it's competitors that make sense for your articles. 
For example, Food Network is not really a competitor for me because they're ranking only 462 words. And the website I'll be making this for is not of the strength of the Food Network. So I would deselect that. The Stay at Home Chef also appears to be quite strong. Small number of words. We get great rankings. All, allrecipes.com is a huge competitor, but they've got lots of words. So let's pick some other ones from outside of the top 10 here. Martha Stewart, not that one. I try to pick sites that are at the level of whatever my site is. So if I've got a brand new site, a niche site, I try to pick competitors that are also niche sites. In this case, I'm not too focused on it because this is an example, but that's what I try to do. Focus on niche sites and try to get the ones that rank highly because their content is what's putting them there. Whereas in this case for the Food Network, it's probably their domain authority that's putting them here. All they have to do is even publish a blank page about boiling eggs and they'll probably be on page one. That's not great information for us to use to optimize our articles. Click on next once you've chosen your competitors. I'm gonna head into our article here and copy the title, which I'll be changing in just a moment. Here's our Neuron Writer workspace. The title, I'm gonna paste it in here and I'm going to change this to our actual keyword, how to boil an egg, the ultimate guide. Let's do that. And then I'm gonna copy the description, put that in here. I'm gonna copy the title to my clipboard. You'll see why in a second. Because what happens is Neuron Writer places a heavy weight on the H1 in the post. And on my websites, the title that I set is also the H1. But in Neuron Writer, it has it separately. So the title is, it, is the title. Then you're gonna put the H1 into your content as the H1. Because some website CMSs, some content management systems, don't automatically put the title as the H1. Let's copy and paste this whole thing paste it in here, and now we're gonna see how optimized we are. We're at 43, our target's 79. 43 is pretty solid out of the gate for content that I've put through this kind of system here, but it's definitely not spectacularly SEO optimized as the title or the, the tagline of the app would suggest. And even the, the image here that shows 80% SEO score, not sure where they're measuring that, but it probably wasn't Neuron Writer, because it's not 80% or at least this post wasn't, maybe they generated posts that are way better than this one for keywords. But I still use Trolley and I still quite enjoy using it because of the bulk generation. The bulk generation allows you to generate a lot of articles all at once. Here I was testing doing 30 at one time. All you do is create a new campaign, you call it whatever you want, test campaign, you give it a number of articles, 30 is the max, you try to do 35, it'll say no. You can have it be automatic which means that you don't have any input at all. And you can publish all at once or publish after. I'll tell you what that means in a minute. And you can choose only short form right now. I'm gonna choose manual, which gives us the ability to give some input in the process. Click on next, and it says only 30 articles. So let's change this to 30. And now for every article, we can enter a headline and some keywords, and then it will generate the title and the outline and the post. Click on next for the next article and you keep doing that till you get 30 and then the button will change to start campaign and then it'll generate 30 articles. And here is one of them. Click on the name and here's the article right here. This is how many words? Select everything on the page, 1300 words. So it's less than the, the manual generation where we use the long form, but it's still pretty solid. Let's see how long this one is. Seems to be a bit more than 1300, 1760. So it'll generate shorter articles. It does say here that new templates are coming soon. So maybe in addition to short form, they'll create the long form, but that's not here yet. And when you are in here with the bulk generation, if you click on the little circle there and click on push to Zapier, it will push the article to Zapier. Then you can publish it to a website, whatever website you've connected to your Zapier account or Zapier, I prefer Zapier. I haven't got this to work yet, but we're gonna try it again in this video, see if it works. Integrations, we only have Zapier right now. The API documentation page gives us information on how to connect to the API, if that's what you wanna do. And that's all there is to do in Trolley. Now we're gonna to try to get an article published or at least have it connected to Zapier, which I haven't had successfully done yet. In Zapier, I have created a connection with Trolley, which is pretty straightforward to do. You do it in the process of creating the Zap. They have this new AI feature now. I'm gonna ask it to create a Zap that will publish Trolley articles to a WordPress site. Publish articles from trolley.ai to a WordPress site. Generate, and that's gonna create the, the Zapier process for us. It's pretty slick. And identified Trolley.ai as the source, WordPress as the destination. 
Looks pretty good. Let's try it. You can also add more steps to your that AI request. You can add as many steps as you want. Now here, if you had not connected an account yet, you would connect the account. I already have mine connected. All you do is click connect and then enter your username and password for Trolley and it's in there. Let's continue. Now we have to test the trigger. This is the part that's never worked so far. So if I test it, no article found. If I go back to Trolley and I've got this one selected, click on push to Zapier or Zapier and I test the trigger, it says no article found. If I go to integrations and I click on connect, it takes me to the Zapier platform login because I thought maybe I have to connect it. I connected it my account to Zapier itself, but then we have to connect it in here as well. But it takes you to the Zapier platform, which is where businesses would go to create apps in Zapier. For example, Trolley has gone here to create this app inside of Zapier that we can then use. So this link isn't going to the right place. We have connected our Trolley account and it's not connected to Zapier for some reason. So I haven't got that figured out yet, but I don't even know if I'd use that because I take the content from Trolley. I don't want to publish it right away. I want to do some editing to it, especially some more SEO optimization to make sure that I can have a chance of ranking. And also I don't want to be detectable by AI. So I got to come in here and edit pretty heavily just to make sure I'm not detectable. In fact, let's copy this, go to zero GPT and see how much AI content is in there. According to zero GPT, we're way beyond our max, but it's still doing something for some reason. One of the first 15,000, that's okay. So it detected a 64.91% AI. So it wouldn't pass AI detection tests. So you wanna come in, I wanna come in, I don't know what you wanna do, but I wanna come in here, make sure that it's good quality content that is not AI detectable, or at least not as heavily as, as this one is. One more thing that I noticed, see if I can pull up a place where I noticed it. So um, Trolley connects to ChatGPT to create the content. And I have noticed when ChatGPT is trying to be helpful, you, you post a request, it's like, sure, I can do that for you. I can create, or I can tell you about the ingredient, ingredients needed to make chocolate mousse. That shows up in here as well. So you are gonna have to go through it and make sure you don't have any of those chat GPT, I'm super helpful kind of comments and statements in here. I don't know exactly which one it was, but it's definitely one of them. I'm just gonna pause this video and find it. Here it is. So the outline said this, can you provide step-by-step -step instructions for making chewy chocolate chip cookies? Chat GPT said, certainly. Here's the step-by-step -step guy, blah, de, blah, de, blah, de, blah. And it made it all super bold and, and headlines. I don't know why I did that, but sometimes it happens too. But you definitely want to come in and remove these pieces that are clearly repeating themselves and it completely looks like it is copy and pasted from ChatGPT or someplace else. So no matter what, you want to proofread these things. Even if you had your Zapier integration set up and you bulk generated and you just auto published, if you did, um, for example, automatic, and publish after, so you can, you can determine, or you can say like after one day. So every, if you make 30 articles, it's gonna publish one article every day, but then you're gonna get trash like that, where it's, it's clearly, if anybody reads it, they're clearly gonna see something's not right. It, it's weird, it's weird to read. So I wouldn't use the automatic at all, but that's just me. If you wanna check out trolley.ai, there's a link in the description down below. It is an affiliate link. If you end up buying through that, I really appreciate it because AppSumo gives me a small commission for that. And that helps me keep making these videos for free. Next up, check out this video right over here, which is a complete walkthrough of Neuron Writer, which is the app that we're using to optimize the SEO for this video. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from Limitless LTDs. Till next time, keep crushing it. And I will see you in the next video.